Hey everyone, it's Donnie from JR's Life, and we are here on one of our first kitchen builds. So this is going to be a complete start to finish video. I'm going to show you how the kitchen gets installed from start to finish, from leveling up the cabinets, to putting on the panels, to putting on crown molding, light balance, the whole nine yards. So if you're looking at installing a kitchen and are wondering how to do it, hopefully this is going to show you how exactly I do it. So first step we're going to do is we're going to be putting on these leg levelers. Now these are two piece set of leg levelers. Um, the other parts already on the bottom of the cabinets. These get put on, um, inserted into the bottom of the cabinet. So each cabinet gets four legs and then it has a screw on bottom. Now this part, you can see raises and lowers. That's how I level the cabinets. So this is gonna be the first step. Uh, we're going to be bringing in all the cabinets, we're going to be putting the leg levelers on, and you're going to see everything in here behind me come to life. It's exciting, it's fun to watch, you don't want to miss it. Enjoy guys. So here I am just bringing in all the cabinets, all the lower cabinets in first. I am just carrying each one in and putting on each leveler leg. They just push in very easily. Usually just tap it in with my hand and I continuing just put on the leveler legs and keep putting all the cabinets in the proper spot. I do have a, a list of all the cabinets, where they go, they're all alphabetically ordered. So I know the spots they go in and so it makes my job a little quicker. I do use a uh, dolly to bring in all the cabinets so I'm not carrying them all by myself all the time but yes I do <laughs> bring in all the cabinets, carry them in myself, I don't have any help. Um, from time to time I do have help bringing in cabinets but this particular kitchen I brought every single cabinet in myself. So I'm just going around placing all the cabinets again. To, to where they need to be in rough spots and making sure all the cabinets are in the right spot. Hey guys, so we're back. We got all the cabinets in. I feel like I just did like a huge workout. If you're looking ever for a workout, bomb some cabinets in here because it literally, like I don't have to go to the gym after days like this. So we've got the leg levelers on. We got the cabinets basically all in place here. So basically everything's in line for what we have to do is level all the cabinets up next. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. We're gonna be leveling the cabinets up now. There is some spots or areas where you don't see cabinets. So this big void here is actually going to be for a massive fridge. So it's a big two door fridge. Um, and then there's another spot here uh, for the dishwasher. And then the corner and across the wall here is going to be for all the upper cabinets. Hey guys, welcome back to JR's life. So we're back on install. We got all our cabinets all in place, kind of right where they need to be. Um, so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start leveling these cabinets up to where they're gonna be. Start putting in all the panels and all the other pieces that need to be and then uh, building back up to um, our upper cabinets. So here we go, we're getting back down. Uh, there's going to be a lot of groundwork underneath the cabinets, rolling them up to where they need to be. Uh, we're hoping for a 34 and a quarter height, so when the countertops go on, they're an inch and a quarter. Um, so then we end up off, 
uh, 36 inch cabinets uh, for the lowers. So stay tuned, we're gonna get to work here and get these cabinets leveled up. See you soon. So I don't know if any of you noticed, but I did mess up on the measurement. It's actually supposed to be 34 and three quarter, not a quarter. Um, so I end up off the ground at 36. So it, countertops are an inch and a quarter and my overall height I want to be left at is 36. So just wanted to clear that up. So I am just starting in the corner here, just leveling up that cabinet here and making sure that one's all level. And usually once you get one corner uh, leveled up, the rest of them just kind of go in line after that. So I'm just continuing on making sure everything is perfectly level. So when the countertops go in, it's very easy for my countertop people to just install. It makes their life a lot easier and I like to make sure all my trades that work with me have a very, um, good experience and enjoy working with me. So again, I'm just continuing on going up and down. It is a little bit back aching. You are doing a lot of groundwork underneath, reaching in and reaching in for those leveler legs to make sure uh, you level up the spot. Another good thing is I do work on jobs from time to time is getting a laser. It does make life a little bit easier, but I use a level most of the time, even though I have my laser um, to show where the cabinets need to be. So if you have a laser, that's great. If you don't, you don't need to use it either. A level is all you need. So here I'm just drilling out for the plumbing and making sure they're all in the right spot and all the holes are nice and clean and fitted to the proper spot. So when you open up the sink cabinet, everything looks very professional and in the right spot that it needs to be. So I'm just cleaning up all the dust so there's nothing in the cabinet and making sure everything, my job site's nice and clean. And I'm just pushing the plumbing in and making sure everything's done. So we just got the plumbing all in and it fits perfectly. So it's exactly what we want to, to make sure everything all fits and everything's all nice and clean when it's done. So that's the plumbing part. So just drilling from the back and uh, putting the cabinet in place. So I'm just motoring along here on the SIG cabinet, just finishing up the final little touches here, making sure it's all level and screwing it into the cabinet beside it so it's nice and secure. And I usually go along and make sure all the cabinets are all screwed in to each other before I start screwing into the, the wall itself. And here I am just uh, putting in the first dishwasher panel and these panels are always oversized so I actually fit them to the floor and the wall and uh, we're just discussing some of the different things here in the job. Um, there was actually a vent up above that was actually moved in the wrong spot and we're just making sure that we can actually fix it before we go ahead on any further of this job so we're just measuring and again here just lining everything up so everybody knows uh, what we can do and we did get it all figured out and this kitchen finished off absolutely beautiful and we got it all figured out the right way that it should be so here we're just discussing again and uh, everybody's happy And I'm just taking them outside to cut and then put back into place. Once they have them all cut and I'm happy with uh, the way they're cut, I screw them in to the sink cabinet. And now I'm just putting in the dishwasher rails. That just uh, helps for the dishwasher to get screwed into, plus it holds the countertop uh, between the two cabinets and just ties everything in uh, where it needs to be. So I've just marked it 
and now seeing where I have to make my cuts, just leveling it up and marking my lines. So I've got them basically all marked here and just screwing all in my dishwasher straps and now I'm just leveling up the next cabinet here before the fridge opening. And we've got them all screwed in together here and everything is looking really nice and I did have the panel in the wrong way and just readjusted it and uh, put it back in here perfectly. So just double checking, making sure everything's level. And everything seems to be coming along really nice, just the way I want it. The bases do take a little bit longer than the upper cabinets, but everything follows in behind the lower cabinets. Once you get everything in the way you want it on the lower cabinets, the upper part is very simple to put together here after this part. And I'm just continuing on the stove wall and where the cooktop goes in and just making sure the cooktop is centered where I need to be. And I am just drilling some holes. There is some gas lines that do come up and some wires that need to be fed into the cabinet. And I'm just making sure that those wires and gas lines are in the proper spot and fit into the cabinet very nicely. I had the electrician along just to make sure uh, he's happy that those wires are in the proper spot and he can work with them. And he actually had to help me um, just move some electrical boxes that were put in the wrong spot. And we got all of that situation figured out and those wires are in the spot they need to be now. So I'm just continuing on cutting all the holes and cutouts that need to be. And once I get that all cut out, I will put this cabinet in place and it'll be leveled up and screwed into the next cabinet here. So well, there you have it, it's all ready to go and making some more adjustments here just to make sure everything's perfectly leveled and I can level the cabin up to where it needs to be and a few little bit more cuts notching out. There you have it. Stay tuned and we will see you in the next video. Peace.